more practical tips, and then we'll really get into the Word. Tip number one, God speaks a lot in pictures. Say pictures. Jesus said, I don't do anything unless I see the Father doing it. We all know the saying, a picture is worth a? This point is so important that I'll talk about it more in depth at the end of the message. But know that God wants to speak to you through pictures. Two, God sounds a lot like you. So he brings the, uh, to mind the secrets of the heart and the desires of the heart. And a lot of times the Spirit of God communicates to us and it's kind of like percolating coffee. It percolates through our soul. And so it comes to us a lot of times as our own thoughts. Third of all, don't try to hear God's voice for everything. That's way too much pressure. You, you, you'll be like, oh, I got to hear from God for this and I got to hear from God. No, God will lead you. He will guide you. He will order your steps. And if you try to hear from God for everything, it will drive you nuts. The moment is when it quits being a grace and a joy to you and it starts becoming law, then it will not be life-giving to you. And then finally, don't try to hear everything in English. God's native language is not English. God's native language is spirit. And he speaks spirit. And so a lot of times he's going to communicate in pictures. And when you try to process things through language, I don't know about you, but I miss that more than when God speaks to me in visions.